Yves Marie Joseph Kingar, the 13th of April 1904 to the 22nd of June 1995, was a French Dominican friar, priest, and theologian. He is perhaps best known for his influence at the Second Vatican Council and for reviving theological interest in the Holy Spirit for the life of individuals and of the Church. He was created a Cardinal of the Catholic Church in 1994. Early life Kingar was born in Sedan in northeast France in 1904. His father Georges Kingar was a bank manager. Conger's hometown was occupied by the Germans for much of World War I, and his father was among the men deported by the Germans to Lithuania. Upon the urging of his mother, Lucy Kingar ne Dissoy called Terre by Eve throughout his life, Kingar recorded the occupation in an extensive series of illustrated diaries which were later published. They provide a unique historical insight into the war from a child's point of view. Encouraged by a local priest Daniel Laumont, Kingar entered the diocesan seminary. Moving to Paris in 1921, he had Jacques Maritain among his philosophy teachers and the Dominican theologian Reginald Garrigo Lagrange as a retreat master. <laughs> priest and Pau After a year of compulsory military service 1924-1925 which Kingar spent in the Rhineland, in 1925 he joined the Dominican Order at Amiens where he took Marie-Joseph as his name in religion. Towards the end of his theological studies from 1926 to 1931 at La Salle Choir, the Dominican Theologate which at the time was located in cain la tombe Belgium, and focused on historical theology, Kingar was ordained a priest on 25 July 1930 by Luigi Maglioni, nuncio in Paris. In 1931 Kingar defended his doctoral dissertation written at La Salle Choir, on the unity of the Church. Kingar was a faculty member at La Salle Choir from 1931 to 1939, moving with the institution in 1937 from cain la tombe to Etioles near Paris. In 1932 he began his teaching career as professor of fundamental theology, conducting a course on ecclesiology. Kingar was influenced by the Dominicans Amboise Gardel and Marie-Dominique Chenu, by the writings of Johann Adam Muller, and by his ecumenical contacts with Protestant and Eastern Orthodox theologians. Kingar concluded that the mission of the church was impeded by what he and Chenu termed Baroque theology. In 1937, Kingar founded the Anam Sanctam series, addressing historical themes in Catholic ecclesiology. These books called for a return to the sources to set theological foundations for ecumenism, and the series would eventually run to 77 volumes. He wrote for a wide variety of scholarly and popular journals, and published numerous books. During World War II Kingar was drafted into the French army as a chaplain with the rank of lieutenant. He was captured and held from 1940 to 1945 as a prisoner of war by the Germans in Kolditz and Lübeck's Auflag, after repeated attempts to escape. Later he was made a knight Chevalier of the French Legion of Honor, and awarded the Croix de Guerre. In addition he was awarded the Médaille des Évidés for his numerous escape attempts. Scholar and ecumenist After the war, Kingar continued to teach at La Salle Choir, which had been returned to France, and to write, eventually becoming one of the most influential theologians of the 20th century on the topic of the Catholic Church and ecumenism. Kingar was an early advocate of the ecumenical movement, encouraging openness to ideas stemming from the Eastern Orthodox Church and Protestant Christianity. He promoted the concept of a collegial papacy and criticized the Roman Curia, Ultramontanism, and the clerical pomp that he observed at the Vatican. He also promoted the role of lay people in the Church. Kingar worked closely with the founder of the Young Christian Workers, Joseph Cardin, for decades. From 1947 to 1956 Conger's controversial writing was restricted by the Vatican. One of his most important books True and False Reform in the Church 1950 and all of its translations were forbidden by Rome in 1952. Kingar was prevented from teaching or publishing after 1954, during the pontificate of Pope Pius XII, following publication of an article in support of the «worker-priest» movement in France. He was subsequently assigned to minor posts in Jerusalem, Rome, Cambridge and Strasbourg. 
Eventually, in 1956, Archbishop Jean Julien Weber of Strasbourg assisted Kingar in returning to France. Conger's reputation recovered in 1960 when Pope John XXIII invited him to serve on the Preparatory Theological Commission of the Second Vatican Council. Although Kingar had little influence on the preparatory schemas, as the council progressed his expertise was recognized and some would regard him as the single most formative influence on Vatican II. He was a member of several committees that drafted conciliar texts, an experience that he documented in great detail in his daily journal. The journal extended from mid-1960 to December 1965. Following his direction, his journal was not released until 2000, and was first published in 2002 as Mon Journal du Concile I II, Présenté et annoté par Eric Mayu two volumes. A one-volume English translation appeared in 2012. Kingar also wrote a diary during his years of trouble with the Holy Office entitled, Journal d'une théologie en 1946-1956, édité et présenté par Étienne Fouillot. An English translation appeared in 2015, there is a prior Spanish translation. After the Council, Kingar said, "...respecting many questions, the Council remained incomplete. It began a work which is not finished, whether it is a matter of collegiality, of the role of the laity, of missions and even of ecumenism." Conger's work focused increasingly on the theology of the Holy Spirit, and his three-volume work on the Spirit has become a classic. He was also a member of the International Theological Commission from 1969 to 1985. Kingar continued to lecture and write, publishing work on wide-ranging topics including Mary, the Eucharist, lay ministry and the Holy Spirit, as well as his diaries. His works include The Meaning of Tradition and After 900 Years which addresses the East-West Schism. In 1963, Kingar was diagnosed with a diffuse disease of the nervous system which caused weakness and numbness in his extremities. In 1985, the diagnosis was changed to a form of sclerosis which increasingly affected his mobility and writing ability, and made his scholarly research difficult. He became a resident at the Military Hôpital des Invalides in Paris from 1986. <inaudible> <inaudible> Cardinal and death In November 1994 he was named a cardinal deacon by Pope John Paul II, shortly before his death on of June the following year. His remains were buried in Montparnasse Cemetery. Media portrayal Yves Kingar is one of the 14 main characters of the series 14 Diaries of the Great War. He is played by actor Antoine de Preckel. Featured in the documentary series, The First World War, 2003, Part 2, Under the Eagle. Topic. Selected works Chrétiennes d'Aisionis, Principes d'une Catholic, Paris, Cerf, 1937, translated as Divided Christendom, A Catholic Study of the Problem of Reunion, Trans M. A. Bosfield, London, Bless, 1939. Vrai et Fosse Réforme dans l'Église, Paris, Editions du Cerf, 1950. A second edition was issued in 1968. Translated as True and False Reform in the Church, Trans Paul Philibert, Collegeville, MN, Liturgical Press, 2011. Hollande's Pour une Théologie du Lycat, 1953. Le Résistance, 195. La Tradition et les Traditions, Essay Historique, Paris, 1960, issued in translation in Tradition and Traditions, an historical and a theological essay, Trans Michael Naseby and Thomas Rainborough, London, 1966. Aspects de l'Oecumenisme, Bruxelles, Paris, 1962. La Foy et la Théologie, Tournai, 1962. The Mystery of the Temple, or the Manner of God's Presence to His Creatures from Genesis to the Apocalypse, Trans Reginald Frederick Trevitt, London, 1962. Pour une Église Servante et Pauvre, Paris, Les Editions du Cerf, 1963. 
La tradition et les traditions, Essai théologique, Paris, 1963, issued in translation in Tradition and Traditions, an historical and a theological essay, Trans Michael Naseby and Thomas Rainborough, London, 1966. Report from Rome, on the first session of the Vatican Council, translated by A. Mason, London, Chapman, 1963 Report from Rome II, the second session of the Vatican Council, London, Chapman, 1964 Lay People in the Church, translated by Donald Atwater, London, Chapman, 1965 Dialogue between Christians, Catholic Contributions to Ecumenism, Trans Philip Loretz, London, G. Chapman, 1966 Je crois en l'Esprit Saint, 3 vols, translated as I believe in the Holy Spirit, 3 vols, Paris, Cert, 1979. Mon Journal du Concile, 1946-1956, ed., with notes Eric Mayu, Paris, Cerf, 2002. My Journal of the Council, English translation by Mary John Ronane and Mary Cecily Bolding, Adelaide, ATF Theology, 2012.